guys. Happy Friday. I hope you guys are ready for the weekend. I know I am. I'm ready because this weekend we're actually, well, not, I can't say I am with excitement to be honest with you. So this weekend isn't super exciting for me because we're moving our son, my oldest son, into his dorm room. So he's off to college now. I think I'm going to be a little sad to be honest with you. So, you know, let's take a little moment here to, to realize that now I only have one child at home and one off to college. So, it's a little sad but I know he's off for a great journey so I'm excited for him so at least that part's exciting so anyway I hope you guys are ready for the weekend so let's talk about my top five Fridays this is a new series I started on my channel so that in order to keep the videos shorter for Friday so that you can get out and enjoy your weekend we're only going to talk about five products that I truly love this week and to let you guys know a little bit about them so the first product I want to talk about is the purity made simple mask this is a mask that you put on and it's a deep cleansing mask it's supposed to be um it says it transformed dull skin for a luminous spa like glow in just 60 seconds so you do not have to leave this mask on very long at all you put it on it feels really nice on your skin and it's purity of course so it's going to be that nice gentle scent so it's not anything that's overpowering like the scent's not overpowering whatsoever so I really enjoy this because I like masking and this is something that I can put on and do it very quick you know out the door, whatever, and <laughs> in the bed, whatever you need to do. If you're doing your masking at nighttime, you can put your mask on and then you're good to go really quickly. I really do enjoy this mask. I really am a true lover of most things philosophy. So this is another philosophy product that I feel like is a win. So if you've never tried this mask out, I think you should try it. It is a very gentle mask, but it does do a good job of cleansing your face. I, I really enjoy it. So I hope you guys check this mask out. The next item is <laughs> a eye cream, not eye cream, an eye under eye corrector. I have bad under eye circles and I'm sure you can probably still kind of see them, but I don't like to use anything super cakey under my eyes because I, you know, I'm, I'm getting up there in age. So I don't want to use anything that's super cakey because they're dry and that, that just kind of accentuates all those fine lines and who wants that? So I really like this It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Eye. This has SPF 50 in it, so this is for under your eyes, which is really nice because I truly do like the IT Cosmetics line. And this one, the reason why I really like it is because, if I can get the top off, oh, it twists off, dirt. As many times I've used it, I still don't know that. It's got this nice metal, which is really dirty. Let's wipe that off for you all so you can see it better. You can tell I've been using it and loving it. Let's wipe it off so you can see it. It's got this nice metal tip on it so that you can put that on your eyes which is nice and cooling so when you put it under your eyes it's very cooling but it's also got a really good concealer here that's not I don't think it's full coverage it's more of like it says it's a CC cream something that's going to do some correcting under there but nothing that's too bright or too bold it just does a good job of correcting and it does not crease on me that's the main thing I look for is it going to crease I don't care if you can still see a little bit of dark circles that's okay by me I mean I don't I don't need to look like you know a glamour magazine I just want to look like I have had a little bit of rest. So this one works really well for me because it doesn't crease. It feels nice under this under my eyes and the tip on it is really nice and cooling. So I really do recommend this. If you've never checked it out before, I would go check it out in Ulta. I'm pretty sure Sephora is supposed to start carrying It Cosmetics products too, but I'm not sure when. So if you don't have an Ulta near you, Sephora will have It Cosmetics soon. The next product is another It Cosmetics line line of products it is the it cosmetics your skin but blood <laughs> blutter better cc plus color cor oh my goodness color correcting full coverage cream this is the foundation that they have and this is honestly if you want a cc cream that does some correcting things to your skin plus it's beneficial for your skin here it is this one does a great job. It's almost full coverage. I'd almost say this is this is like medium to almost full coverage for me anyway. And I have acne prone skin. And honestly, I'm wearing this today and you can't even hardly see my acne problems that I have using just this. I didn't use any kind of concealer or anything on these acne scars that I have. I just use this and it works really, really well. I love using it with the uh, Beauty Blender or with the uh, Real Techniques one. Either one works great with it. You can even put this on with your hands. So this is such an easy foundation that you can use it any way you really want to with it and it works great. I really love this. It's got the SPF 50 in it, which is important for anyone and everyone. You should be using an SPF. So then you don't have to worry about 
remembering, did I use an SPF today? I know you don't have to use an SPF if you're not going outside, but honestly, we're all outside a little bit, so you should always use an SPF. So I say this is a great thing to have. For me, I use it a lot during the summer because first of all, it's nice and easy to go. You can kind of throw this on and you don't have to worry about it too much. I really do love this. If you've never checked it out before, I do recommend checking that out. The next product, and we're down to the fourth item, is this Makeup Forever Professional Paris. And this says, this is an eyeshadow palette, I believe. It says just shadow palette. This came in my kit, the, uh, oh my gosh, the 50 Shades of Grey kit. I think I've talked about this before on my channel. I'm pretty sure I have. But I just really do love this palette. I think it's a nice blush palette. This orange I know looks really bold and scary. Look at that orange. You'd be like, no way, no way. But honestly, once you put it on your skin, it doesn't come off that bold. And then the pink is really, really pretty. The, whoops, did I even get any of the pink? The pink is really, really pretty. That was a good job. See it there? It's a really nice light pink. These colors look a lot bolder than they are once you swatch them. And then there's the white, which can be used as a highlight, which comes off really bright, but you can blend it out to turn it into a highlight, which works really nice. I just really like this palette because, first of all, it's so easy. Grab one little thing and you've got these three products that you can use. I've used this a lot this week because I've been going for simple things because we are getting ready for him to go to college, so I want things that are easy. That's why I've been using a lot of the It Cosmetics things because, without a doubt, they're going to work. These have been working because they're, they're buildable. They look bold in the pan, but once you've put them on, honestly, it's, you kind of build them up to the uh, pigment that you want. You don't have to go on, you know, like clown face immediately. So I really do like these a lot. I need to check out more Makeup Forever um, blushes because I don't think I have anything else. I have a couple eyeshadow palettes, but I don't have any more blushes. So I need to check out some more because I really do think these are nice. I like a buildable blush and that's what these are. The very last thing is a body product and my friend here on YouTube, Liv, at Liv Loves Her Makeup, she recommended this to me because I really liked, I had another one of these and she recommended this one. So I was like, hey, I'll check it out because that sounds like something for me too. So it is the Soft Soap Body Scrub with Coconut Butter. It's an exfoliating body wash uh, with jojoba extract. This stuff smells so good. Oh my gosh, like I've only been using this for just this week and you can't even see it in here, but I've already used that much and that's a lot, honestly, for a body wash because you don't need a whole lot and that's the great thing about this too. You don't need a whole lot. You put it onto your little scrubby thing and like it soaks up pretty well so you don't need a whole lot, but your whole bathroom smells like you're at the beach. I love anything to do with the beach, so it smells really, really nice. It does have little exfoliating beads in there. Oh my gosh, just the scent of it is amazing. And it's soft soap, so it's inexpensive. And I think I just popped some on my shoulder. It's inexpensive, so you could pick this up pretty much anywhere. So if you've never tried any of the soft soap body washes, check them out because they're amazing. This one's really, really nice. I think I had the strawberry scented before, and that was when Liv had told me, that, hey, check out this coconut one. I really do love this. It smells really, really nice. Love it. And I want to throw in one little extra for this week just because... I've already talked about it, I think, last week, but I just want to reiterate how much I truly love this product and just let you guys know, if you haven't checked it out yet, you need to go check it out. I know I found out some information about it, but I still love it. It is the Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills. The reason why I say I found out about something about it is because I found out that it only has on the back of here, the little lid with the little open sign tells you how long you should use the product before it's no good. Um, this one says six months. Do you hear the crickets? Because that's what I thought when I saw that. I was like, what? No way. Six months? Almost every other palette I've ever seen is at least 12 months, 24 months before it goes bad. This one says six months. That's crazy. But honestly, I think if you're the type of person like me who I, t I keep a little spritzer bottle with 91% alcohol, I spray my palettes after I've used them. I'm really strange. I'm a little bit OCD when it comes to cleanliness. So I spray my palettes and I know for me that I'll keep it longer than six months. So I'm not worried about that time difference or whatever. 
but I just really love this palette. If you haven't checked it out yet, here's a little glimpse of it again. I do have some other videos on specifically this palette, so if you want to go check those videos out to see like the swatching, I do a, bra a finger swatch and then a brush swatch. So you can check that out to see if you would actually even enjoy this palette. But just remember, it does have a six month open container little symbol in the back, so that's a little worrisome. I did also find out because this palette gets really dirty really quickly because it's like a velvety material. If you take one of those little, um, I don't remember what they're called. It's a little cloth. It's the uh, microfiber. I couldn't think. The microfiber cloth, just a plain one of those and rub it over it. It will take off all that stuff. So you don't have to worry about it being all fingerprinted up. It will come clean. So I, that's a beneficial thing to, to know about this palette. Because I know that was one of the complaints that everybody was saying about this palette. That it gets dirty and it holds all these fingerprints. But if you take a microfiber cloth, it will come off. So that is it for my Friday favorites. Let me know what some products that you all have been loving this week. What some products that worked great for you. What's, what are some products that were complete fails. I like to know both ways because both ways are beneficial for everyone to know. Uh, stay tuned for next week because next week will be our, our countdown series. Next week we'll go from 10 to number one if starting at 10 which would be the worst product that I've tried this month to number one which would be the best product that I've tried for this month so you may see some things that you've already seen this month in that video but you may see some new things so most likely you will definitely see some new things because there are some products that were complete fails for me this month that I wanted to talk to you all about uh, so those are the ones that I know I haven't really talked about here on on my channel yet so Stay tuned for next week for those. So let me also know what are some products that didn't work for you if you've tried that you've tried out or some products that you found out that were holy grails. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.